Hi and welcome to Fun Swedish. If you followed Sweden during the European Football Championship, then you might have come across the Swedish song The Gamla De Fria, the one they play before the Swedish football team starts playing. Is this the Swedish national anthem? Both yes and no. Sweden actually doesn't have a national anthem, at least not officially. No political decision has ever been made to proclaim the Gamla De Fria as Sweden's national anthem. But for Swedish people, it is. So today we're gonna learn the Swedish national song chosen by the people and also learn some Swedish along the way. In Swedish, the word for national anthem is national song. Remember, national for us is national, a little bit different. And song is basically song, easy one. The song Du Gamla De Fria was written by a man called Rika Dybak in 1844 and is usually sung during sporting events, Nationaldagen and school avslutningar, the end of the school year right before the summer break. The title Du Gamla De Fria kind of means you ancient, you free. What are they referring to? Norden, the North. The song is actually not only about Sweden, it includes all the countries that are part of Norden, which are Denmark, Finland, Norge, Island, and some other small islands as well. The song is basically a love song to Norden, the North, and all the nature we have here. People from Norden really, really love nature. Some people even say that it's part of our religion. We kind of believe in the nature. So it doesn't surprise me that we chose this song to be our national song. Today we're going to try to translate this song. But as you might know, it can always be a little bit tricky to translate a song from one language to the other, especially if it is from the 19th century. But we're going to do our best so at least you know a little bit more what this song is about. It starts like this. The gamla, the fria, the fjällhöga nord. Today, luckily for you, you're not going to hear me sing because I have had a cold. So I'm just going to read it for you and then we might put on the music so you can listen to the melody. The gamla means you old or maybe better you ancient. And the fria means you free. Then we have this word du fjällhöga. As we know now, du means you, but then fjällhöga. Here we need to kind of put this word apart. We need to divide it in two parts. First, fjäll is a word that is referring to the specific mountains that we have in the Nordic countries. So it can be a little bit tricky to translate exactly in English. It's kind of a mountain, but the specific one here in the north. And then hög, or in this case höga, is the plural version of high. So you can kind of translate fjällhöga to high Nordic mountains of the north. Then it continues like this. Du tysta, du glädjerika, sköna. You quiet, joyful beauty. This is poetry. Jag hälsar dig, värnaste land uppå jord. I greet you, loveliest land upon earth. Uppå is one of these old Swedish words you won't see nowadays so much. But you might have seen the word upp, which is how we say up. So you can tell that this song is a little bit old school. Din sol, din himmel, dina ängder gröna. Your sun, your sky, your climbs green. Ängd is another of these words that you won't see so much nowadays. It basically means region or area. Again, not used so much. And don't mix it up with the word eng, which means meadow, something else. But here it's used because it's an old song. The next part, most Swedish people don't even know the lyrics. But it's still there. Du tronar på minnen från fornstora dagar. You are enthroned on memories of the great olden days. Not sure what great olden days they're referring to. When essential heating wasn't even a thing, when we had witch hunting, or when life expectancy was really low and everyone in Sweden were alcoholics. I mean, come on, Sweden back in the old days, it was actually a bit of a country. Maybe they're referring to the Viking times. That is at least a little bit cool in movies and if you sell things about Sweden. But otherwise, I think Sweden is a little bit better nowadays. 
Back to the song. In this phrase about the good olden days, they use this word dar, which is slang for dagar. And this is really spoken Swedish, because again, we're a bit lazy. So instead of saying dagar, we say dar instead. If you want to know more about spoken Swedish, you can check out this video that we made about that topic. Okay, the song continues. Då ärat ditt namn flög över jorden. When honored your name flew across the earth. This doesn't make so much sense, but it's still there in this song. Jag vet att du är och förblir vad du var. I know that you are and will remain as you were. But like we said, not everyone knows the whole song. So if you can't follow, if you don't know what to sing, don't worry, you will actually be like most Swedes. But here comes a part that you should definitely know. Because this next part that we're going to go through is the one that everyone sings out loud. Maybe because it's their favorite part, or maybe because it's the only part they actually know. Ja, ja, vi leva, ja, vi dö i Norden. As you can see, I can't sing, and especially not today. But this one is impossible to not sing, so I just had to sing it. This part is the one you should absolutely learn by heart. And it means, yes, I want to live and I want to die in the North. So patriotic. This part we like so much that we sing it twice. And the second time we sing it even louder. Mm? And normally maybe you put the hand to your heart or something like that. A little confession here. And don't tell the Swedish authorities because I really want to keep my Swedish passport. But when I was a teenager and I was going through my Spain phase, then I actually didn't like to sing this part. I didn't want to live and die in the north of the world. I wanted to live in Spain, so I actually changed the lyrics to Spain instead. Because it was too cold to live in Norden. And in Spain they had good weather, nice people and good food. And even if Swedish people sing this song very proud and they're very proud of saying that they want to live and die in the north, some of them also like the idea of going to Spain and retire there. So, that was it for this week's video. Have you ever heard this song, The Gamla de Fria? Let us know in the comment section below. If you google this song, you can actually come across longer versions of the song. But this one is the shorter version. And if you want to know more about Swedish and Swedish culture, you can try out one of our video courses. Each video course is like taking a full Swedish course with us. To get it, Use the promo code SWEETTUBE and you will get a 10% discount. The link is in the description below. Super! Bra! Vi ses nästa vecka! Hej då!